or relativity states that no mechanical experiment can distinguish between two uniformly moving frames of reference. Let me give you, first of all, Galileo's explanation of what that means. These, of course, weren't Galileo's terms. It's how they're put in modern terms. But he gave a beautiful and compelling description of it in his dialogue concerning two chief world systems, the Ptolemaic and the Copernican, sun-centred and earth-centred universe. And the dialogue was Galileo's powerful advocacy of a sun-centred universe. But to pursue his advocacy, he had to consider the question of why we do not feel any effects from the rotation of the Earth and its revolution from the sun. You're all thinking you're sitting still at the moment. Why do you think that? The book is presented as a series of discussions. And I want to show you the one that discusses what is now called Galileo's Principle of Relativity, introduced by his, one of the characters, Salviati. And I'm giving this in a little bit of detail because it's just so beautiful. I want such an example of how to write science um, to help it be understood. All right. Salviati says, shut yourself up with some friend in the main cabin below decks of some large ship and have with you there some flies, butterflies, and other small flying animals. Have a large bowl of water with some fish in it. Hang up a bottle that empties drop by drop into a wide vessel beneath it. With the ship standing still, observe carefully how the little animals fly with equal speed to all sides of the cabin. The fish swim indifferently in all directions. The drops fall into the vessel beneath, and throwing something to your friend, you need throw it no more strongly in one direction than another, the distances being equal. Jumping with your feet together, you pass equal spaces in every direction. When you've observed all these things carefully, although there's no doubt that when the ship is standing still, everything must happen in this way, have the ship proceed with any speed you like, so long as the motion is uniform and not fluctuating this way and that. And I've emphasised that thing there. Now, there'll be water and butterflies and flies available for you to try this on the tube <laughs> after the lecture. But do make sure to introduce yourself to all the, your fellow travellers. And now we come to it. You will discover not the least change in the effects named nor could you tell from any of them whether the ship was moving or standing still. No mechanical experiment can distinguish a state of absolute rest. He then goes on to reiterate in the rest of the quote, which I've put up in slide because I wanted to have it in the notes so that you could read it and just see how, how nice it is, how everything happens exactly the same way when the ship is moving uniformly, as when it was standing still. No mechanical experiment is going to distinguish between two uniformly moving states or a state of absolute rest. Okay, um, that's, the, that's the rest of it, so you've got that to look forward to. As I say, it's a beautiful example of scientific writing. Well, what did Einstein do? Here we have Galileo's principle of relativity. You've seen that before. Now, this is true genius. What does Einstein do? He rubs out the word mechanical. No experiment can distinguish between two uniformly moving frames of reference. Not only can no mechanical experiment distinguish between them, but no optical experiment can distinguish between them. And there's a particular consequence of that this Einstein's principle of relativity, that because he argued that Maxwell's equation describing electromagnetic radiation, and light is just a form of electromagnetic radiation, apply as they stand to any uniformly moving frame of reference, for example, on the ship or on the shore or whatever. So in particular, from theoretical grounds, the speed of light is related to the ratio between the electric and um, the strength of the electric field, the strength of the magnetic field. You and the ship will find it when it's moving. I on shore will find the same values. We'll both have the same value for the speed of light. So in particular, a consequence of Einstein's principle of relativity 
is that the speed of light in a vacuum has the same value in two uniformly moving frames of reference. So first of all, he said, no experiment can distinguish a state of absolute rest, and in particular, the speed of light is the same in any two. And this is what I mean. This is why I introduced the quotes I had earlier on. These are the foundations on which he's going to build it, and it goes very quickly. <laughs> 